Gladys, aka is that your hair and welcome back to my channel if you are new here tap the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and if you've been rocking with your girl for a minute what's up what's good welcome back <laughs> i'm so happy to be with you all today this week thank y'all so much for all the love that you've been showing me for the past few weeks i've seen a lot of new subscribers come my way and we just made it to 15,000 subscribers <laughs> Super excited about that. I guess that means we're on the way to 20K now, right? Yeah, I guess so. So I just wanna give a sincere thank you for all of the love and support. Now y'all saw the title. This video is featuring the brand new wigs from the Janet Collection Natural Me series. And I'm actually collaborating with the online black owned beauty supply store, The Wig City. Some of you may remember when I collabed with them last year when they first started, I did a lookbook featuring like fall wigs under $30. They were all out I believe. <laughs> Really like that lookbook definitely check it out i will link it down below and it turns out the wig city recently turned one years old yes the owner Ethla, i really really like her she is just so awesome so humble you can just tell that she really cares about the wig city it's her baby and i enjoy working with her so i'm really glad that we agreed to work together especially to celebrate her one year anniversary so when y'all drop your comments make sure you congratulate my girl make sure you click the link to the wigs that I provide and show my girl some love. These wigs are all $29.95, y'all. Definitely an affordable range. Show my girl some love and tell her Gladys sent you. All right, so we're starting off with this first wig here. The name of this one is Deidre, and I have Deidre in the chocolate hazel color. Now, if you are unfamiliar with this line, this is the Natural Me line. It comes with a very nice natural blowout texture. And it actually goes as far to say, like, on the back, this is what... You know, natural me texture looks like, and this is what other textures look like. Shade? Hmm. And they also show the different colors that it's available in. And this chocolate hazel color, I wasn't sure what to expect, especially because I don't normally get chocolate brown colors on me because I normally feel like it's blending in with my skin. But I'm not mad at it. All right, y'all, let's dive into the pros of this unit. First pro, straight at the gate, the texture is popping. I love the way this feels. In comparison to the Outre Nisha units, I would say it feels very similar, but the density is definitely less. Like I know that's one thing people say about some of the Nisha units, they can be very dense. I have also thinned out my Nisha's, use a blow dry brush on them. And I have a video showing how I thin out the original Nisha. I will link that in the description box about down below. Definitely a great tutorial on how to thin out your units. But for this unit, this is such a nice natural density and length. Come through, Janet. Look at this little bang over here. This little so whoop. <laughs> I really like this unit. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like her. I think she looks nice in a stock car, but I was worried about her looking like a little too, I don't know, like a little too mom-ish. Not saying there's anything wrong with moms. I just I just wanted it to look a little bit more sassy. And I think I'm getting that with this unit. Got my little hoops on and my little off the shoulder. I think I'm ready to go somewhere. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. I also really love the parting space. What a nice, natural looking parting space. And it curves. I'm here for that as well. And to let y'all know, I did not apply like got to be glue free spray to this unit. Y'all see this? 
I put like a dab of glue in the beginning right up here because I felt like it was gonna lift. Literally like the tiniest bit of got to be glue I put over there. And now I'm about to just put this over here because I already took it out. Girl, you scared me the way you came in. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you see how easy that is? Done. I would definitely say this wig is beginner friendly. So if you are new to wigs, definitely consider Miss Deidre here. For all my nine to five mommies, I think you will really like this one. I know a few of my subscribers were asking for some shorter work friendly units. So am I delivering? Is this it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. Also, I must give a huge shout out to my handy dandy. I know I haven't been dealing with lace for a minute. I've been caught up on the headband wig train. Choo choo. But I hopped off real quick to come back to these Janet Collection units because I've been hearing how bomb they are. And I'm just happy to use my little tried and true cover, cover girl true blend. I use this to blend the lace. The lace on this unit is a brown color, so that's great. But it's still not brown enough to like completely melt with my skin. So using this foundation works really well to make sure this blends. I, I really, you see that? It's blending pretty well. My widow's peak is trying to peek out a little bit, but it's not too noticeable. So yeah, so far, so good. I'm excited to try on the next two units. If you're ready to see them, keep on watching. All right, y'all, next up we have Jenna Collection Tamila, and I have Tamila in the number two color. As you see on the stock card, it has the deep center part. As you see on the stock card, it comes with a deep lace part. And I know this is heat safe. I don't know how heat safe though, because <laughs> Loki, after my Jenna Collection Jode unit burnt up at the top, I haven't really, I don't know about y'all Janet and the heat safe, but I'm gonna assume up to like maybe 360 degrees. Past that, I can't promise you. But this is Tamila here, and you see she has these curls at the end. One thing I'm noticing though, look at this parting space. Am I missing something? Why, why is it that you guys, this is from the same collection, but the parting space is dense compared to the look of Deidre. Why do they do that? And all on top of that, they, this thing has filler hairs. I feel it right here. Like my fingers like look, Low key, my finger just got caught in the filler hairs. Not sure what that's about. Like, I don't think it's necessary. It's not like you have some big bang over here. I don't know why they did that, but let's just. Okay, that hair came out because I cut really close into the lace. It's not shutting like that for real. <laughs> Y'all look at me crazy like, what the hell? All right, let's toss this one on. I'm noticing a big difference between this unit and Deidre. This is not big head friendly. Like. I have a medium sized head, 22.3 circumference. Why is it feeling tight? Like, okay, let me see something. So when I bring her out here, okay, she's looking pretty, but these filler hairs, my God, they are like all in the front of the unit. Ugh, that is the worst place for them to be right now. This is terrible. Golly, look how humpy that is. When I put on Deidre, I also realized I didn't even flatten down the top. That's how late she was. But Miss Tamila, girl, mm-mm. I don't know about her. I see that she's being worn to the side in the stock card. I'm not feeling this cap. The cap is not big head friendly and it just doesn't feel that comfortable. And look at how this is looking like this. Um, okay. <sighs> what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? All right. Let me work on this a little bit, play some music for y'all, and we'll come back with my thoughts. My man is, my man is, your man, her is her man too. My man is, my man is, your man, her is her man. Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, I just keep him satisfied. Ooh, the weekend. I gotta say I'm in the mood for a little bit more. I mean, I'm saying what kind of things is today. I am back with Miss Tamila. Looking at myself in this camera, 
Tamila looks stunning. This style on me right now is giving me so much life. I mean, <laughs> look up baddie in the dictionary and here you are. <laughs> Let me stop. But no, seriously, I really love the way she looks, okay? It's just the process to get her there that I do not like. My main pro to this unit is the texture and the style. My main cons are the parting space, the cap size, and the filler hairs. Biggest issue to me is the parting space and the filler hairs because it just makes it extra thick for no reason. If you are a beginner wig wearer, please know this. Your wig looks natural based on what's going on up here, okay? What's going on up here? So the way it was looking fresh out the pack with that parting space that was looking real skimp, that wasn't gonna work. That's why I had to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in the color 360 to open up the parting space. I did dab some got to be glue gel in the parting space just to adhere it a little bit, but that was about it. And to get them filler hairs in order, I had to use my blow dryer. I almost used my blow dryer brush, but I didn't feel like going downstairs to get it. So I just used my regular Revlon blow dryer, the pink one that I always use with the black attachment. And I just flattened it down on both sides. And now that I've done that, honey, we have arrived. <laughs> But it was like, Janet Collection Deidre was like taking a 10 minute Uber to the brunch spot. Whereas Tamila, you over here taking public transportation just to get to where you need to be. I'm not trying to get on the bus. <laughs> I'm just not right now. So, you know, she took some work. I feel like if you are a beginner, you could probably figure it out with the help of a video, but I wouldn't recommend it for a beginner. If you're like intermediate to advance then yeah you could definitely tame these filler hairs down without having to watch anyone and you'd be good to go so the style is gorgeous gorgeous but i'm just not feeling the cons i listed oh and another thing as i was trying to style it my issue was it's actually a left side part i don't normally rock with left side part units i'm still you know a little iffy looking at myself right now because it looks weird <laughs> but she looks good so i'm i'm willing to let it rock but my girl Shanice Nicole, Lucy Fru, I know you all over this left side part mess, so I'll let you have it this time. But yeah, y'all let me know in the comments which one are you feeling right now so far, Deidre or Tamila? We still have one more to go. And I've already seen this one, I have high expectations for her, so let's just see what it is. Okay, we are back with Miss Kaja. I have her in number two color. Um. Kaja is beautiful. Yeah. I don't have any cons to this unit. Parting space is on fleek. Like once I put my press powder in, come on now. Is that looking like scalp or what? Oh, and just so y'all know, I'm wearing this glueless. Glueless, honey. <laughs> the style of this is beautiful. I mean, it's your typical straight style. Comes down on me like a good 20 inches. Has some nice layers here, but I like that the layers curve like that that's really pretty and i love the density this is like a really nice 150 percent density oh my goodness she looks so freaking good i'm still confused as to why camilla had to get like that weird parting space but this is what i'm talking about right here let me tell you janet collection has come a long way since janet collection job okay as much as i love the style of that unit the fibers were rough like cancalon fibers but this feels super smooth super soft i feel like they took a page out of outre's book and ran with it i'm here for it though compared to nisha 203 and some of y'all know how much i love nisha 203 this is this is similar i think this one might be just a tad bit shorter and the density is a tad bit less than nisha 203 love me some 203 and i love the colors that outre has but this is a great buy too and for 29.95 come on can't beat it, can't beat it. Overall, y'all, I'm really happy with these latest releases from J from the Janet Collection. I would say of the three, my favorite style was on Tamila. But the construction of Deidre and Kaja definitely win, in my opinion. All the styles are beautiful, and I think there is something for everyone in this collection. I'm so proud of Janet for getting our texture right because this is absolutely gorgeous, kinky straight, yakky type hair. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I feel like this is the year of the yak, the year of the kinky straight, the year of the type four blown out baddie, and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. 
at all. Just keep it coming. So, oh my gosh, do you see that flow and that body? This is what you're getting with this line, and I love it. If you're new here, tap the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything else coming up. Thank you all so much for 15K. I truly, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Premier Party, if you're watching with me, do know I love y'all so, so much. Make sure you check out the Wig City. All links are down below. These units are only $29.95, so I mean, you can't beat it. This is super affordable. And these type of textures definitely last longer than silkier textures. So it's a win-win. And if you want to see me more textured units, check out my textured wig playlist over here and some of my other recent videos. Thank you so much. Shout out to Wig City for sponsoring this video. And I will see the rest of you in the next one. Bye.